Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to brute force a WPA2 password given the following conditions. The password length is 8, 8. the character is set from A to Z, up lowercase and uppercase. Each character can only be used once in the password and a minimum of two lowercase, two uppercase and two numbers are present. Uh, and Peter, you can put the examples on the screen. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So we have a user and the user says, first, take a look at the policy gen tool from the pack toolkit, and you can generate a set of masks that match your length and minimums. You can also in inform time estimation using policy gens PPS parameter. This tells policy gen how many passwords per second your target platform can attempt. For example, if you have a GPU similar to my GTX 970 SC, which can do 185 uh, KH, KH slash S with WPA, WPA2 using Hashcat, you'll get something like this. And Peter, you can put that on the screen, this little pack kind of thing. And the resulting set of 2,940 masks covers the set of all possibilities that match your constraints. So let's estimate the time. Notice that PolicyGen estimates the time to be more than one year for close estimation. You may not be able to predict when your specific passphrase would be cracked, but you can establish an upper bound and an average half of that upper bound. So using Hashcat mask processor tool, you can get the total number of combinations for a given mask running that against each mask and summing the results. And it basically yields the following number, which is 5.847 and then you have the you know plus 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 and Peter you can put that plus the 13 right which is roughly five quadrupillion combinations assuming 185,000 hashes per second that's 340 uh some odd days or 95 90, you know about a year to exhaust the entire key space so the average uh passphrase will be cracked within half a year half the time needed for the you know the Traverse, the total key space. Before I keep going, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So now that we have, you know, we start the attack and Peter, you can put that code on the screen to, you know, to try and crack it. You would simply need to feed your WPA to handshake and your list of masks to hashcat like so. And Peter, you could put that on the screen, the hashcat, hashcat um, code so that um, the viewers can watch it. Now, hashcat will start l working with your list of masks one at a time since policy gen sorts mask in roughly complexity order the fastest masks appear first in the list so each mask will tend to take roughly more time than the previous ones so you'll probably not want to wait around until it's done now when it comes to this is there a faster way than this way please let me know in the comment section below there's also the other way where uh, there's a different method and it takes two digits at least. So the first one, there are 10 possibilities. And for the sec second nine, uh, which makes 90 possible pairs, and that's the analog with 26 star, 25 combinations, upper and lower case. And Peter, you can put those examples on the screen so the viewers can see it. This goes into after choosing six characters this way, we have the freedom for the last two, which is 26 plus 26 plus 10 minus six, uh, which gives us about 56 and then 55 for the last one. The combination is the multiplication, you know, the star. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nine is that multiplication it is multiplication with the stars. Okay. And that's the combinations for the characters. The password might consist of without knowing the right number. So that takes us to about 117 billion. 117 billion right multiplied by the eight and peter you can put that on the screen the eight and then here's the thing i don't know where the difference is coming from especially not what binome which is the 26 uh the, or the lower means but if i factorize both results peter you can put that on the screen they get that he get he gets that very long four number and very long five number so uh, I don't understand what, you know, again, this person doesn't understand where the 4,793 is coming from as well as the 61. So for that particular result, I think it looks reasonable by two by 26 can factorize by two by two by 13. The 11 is from five by 11 and 55 and so on. Uh, uh, that's what I have for you today. I don't encourage to do this unethically, do this ethically. Thank you for watching this content. I appreciate your viewership. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please like. Stay safe. See you on the next video.